friends today I'm going to show you a very simple recipe and that is rice um, here I have one and a half uh, cups of uh, good quality Indian pure basmati rice there is uh, about a can of uh, good quality coconut milk today I'm making it with coconut milk I have uh, a few bay leaves uh, two to three cardamoms two to three long and two cinnamon sticks for making the rice either olive oil or for any other good purposes or occasions 100% pure or good quality ghee. Here in the pan I have heated it on medium high. I am going to add 1 oil to this pan. About oil should be about uh, 3 tablespoons. I mean, here I am using measuring of a cup and I will let it boil. In our uh, in India this dish is commonly known as Naniyal Dood Pulao. Pulao means a uh, good quality rice which we saute in all the whole spices and we serve it to our guests. 
so now I'm going to uh, it's already about 10 past 1 I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes on low heat covered rice should always be covered on low or medium heat and then I will check that okay Hi, this is Pia Majumda. Now I'm going to show you. I took about two cups of all-purpose flour or maida, put salt to taste, water and two tablespoons of oil. And then with this part of my hand, I kneaded it in the shape of a dough. The dough has to be nice and soft. Two cups of all-purpose flour or maida, water and two tablespoons of oil it should really be soft and sponge a ball of this shape then i took small pieces and made small round shaped balls out of these and they have to be real soft so in between i keep kneading the dough to roll it out i dusted some flour mega or all-purpose flour <clears throat> on the board I press it down with my fingers and then I knead it in a round or a circular shape the fingers my fingers and hand shape is going around in a circular or round motion So that the edges of the maida, of the puri, these are called puri or luchis, are real thin and they puff up easily in the hot oil. Already some, there is some oil heating over here in a wok. And now the flour that I had rolled out, I'm going to fry it and I wait till the heat is hot enough for me to fry the puris. Now gently from one side of the wok, I put it like this, it sinks to the bottom and then slowly it comes up and then I go round like this and put some oil in, on it and turn the side as one side pops up then I let it strain before I'm going to serve it because there can be excess oil in that luchi or puri as it were called and I even strain it on paper towel another one I go down from one side and I drop it in the oil first it sinks to the bottom and then it comes up Now I turn the side and you can see it is turned a little bit br golden brownish on one side and then we strain it. <coughs> 